all that stuff. Yeah, so uh, I was headed to a game and I got the call from Bergevin and uh, absolutely excited to come to St. Louis, defending cup champs. Uh, just uh, what a city, what a, a great organization to be a part of. So I'm really happy about this. So were you, were you in the car? Or? Uh, no, I was about to leave the hotel. Oh, oh okay, for the... Uh... For the game. Yeah, we were in Detroit. Oh, okay. Yes. And then flew out last night. It was uh, pretty quick, but uh, you know, it's great. Got, got on the ice here today, got settled in. So pretty happy about that. Did you have any inkling that something might go down? Or? Well, it's the second time I get traded this year, so I went to my hometown in Montreal, and uh, you know, I thought maybe I was going to stay home there, but uh, that's how it is. That's the hockey world. Uh, excited for the opportunity to play in the playoffs, be a part of this team, a uh, great franchise. Like I said, defending Cup uh, champs, so just want to play my role and try to help the team win. You've played against this team quite a bit, obviously, with your days in Minnesota, so yep. is there some familiarity there of what, you, what you're coming into? Absolutely, absolutely. Tough team, works hard. Um, you saw it last year on that uh, cup run. I just feel like I'm uh, just really excited to be a part of this. Uh, been on the other side, playing against uh, the Blues a lot, and uh, played two playoff series against this team. Just a uh, tenacious, hard-working team, so now to bring my energy and bring my game to this team is going to be really exciting for me. Did you get any scraps with Vartizo? Uh, we had a few, a few battles, a few battles in some <laughs> games. <laughs> uh, you had to like playing in Montreal. Was it a little party? Was it tough to leave your hometown? Uh, I feel like I lived a dream. Um, I always dreamt about playing for the Canadians, even though it was a small stint. It was just two months, but uh, really excited about that. Got the opportunity to play there, play in front of my family and my friends. Mm -hmm. uh, scored at the Bell Center against the Leafs, so some big moments there. But, uh, you know, that's the journey of hockey, and I'm really excited about this opportunity. Like I said, playing in the playoffs is everything in hockey, so just to be a part of this team, this franchise, uh, I feel like I'm really lucky. When's the last time you were in the playoffs? Uh, Against the Blues in 2017 with Minnesota. Yeah. Well, what is it about playoff hockey that players, I mean, you guys live for it? Uh, every inch counts, every play counts. Uh, it's the end of the year. I feel like, uh, you know, your game's at, at the best it could be. Going into playoffs, you played a full season, everyone's sharp. Um, I mean, just the rewards of playing in the playoffs, winning playoff series, is it's everything. I, I can't explain it. you got to play through it. Yeah, what, uh, so what would you do these last couple of seasons once the playoffs started? Uh, yeah, it wasn't fun. It wasn't fun to be out of it. So uh, I'm just happy for the opportunity to get back into it. What parts of your game do you feel like kind of fit the fabric of what they like to do here and the, the style that they play here with their, with their blue liners? I feel like uh, it's pretty similar to Minnesota style uh, when I was there at the time. I uh, played there seven years and uh, just uh, be a big body, good stick, be physical, uh, simple game. But uh, I know the Central really well, like I said, seven years in Central. So uh, I feel like I, I'm going to fit in well here. And uh, just a great group of guys. Everyone's so welcoming today already. So. Um, it's going to be fun to get uh, get this thing going. This is a group that likes to activate their D, obviously, into the offense. Do you feel like that's that's a part of your game that uh, you can uh, incorporate here, too? Absolutely, but I know what I have to do to be successful. Uh, just play a really good defensive game, help with the PK. Um, I'm going to do whatever I'm asked of to do here and uh, just uh, do it with a smile on my face. I'm just happy to be here, like I said, uh, be back in the Central and uh, playing for the St. Louis Blues. My uncle played here, too, uh, Sergio Momesso, and uh, so just following in his footsteps a little bit. Have you talked to him about <laughs> St. Louis yet or had a chance? Uh, absolutely. To, uh, he was in Montreal. He was doing uh, radio for Montreal. So uh, he, he was the first one who texted me when I, when I got the call. Found you know, out. Brian O'Reilly, played with him? Yeah, played with a few guys here. Shanner, uh, Petrangelo, Jake Allen, and uh, World Juniors. Um, I know Perron from Montreal. Mm -hmm. So, and in fact, Addy, I mean, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, some familiar faces. I feel like now I've been in the league long enough where I know some, a few guys on each team. Mm -hmm. And it uh, just makes the transition easier. But like I said, I just went through it this year in January. Um, I'm settled in right now in St. Louis. Happy to be here. Happy to be a part of this franchise. Uh, I feel like uh, there's a lot of potential in this locker room. Obviously, you saw what happened last year. So I want to be a part of that this year. So is there just kind of that new feeling, too, to get incorporated and in back into a playoff race with a team that's fighting for a playoff spot and, and, and looking good right now? Absolutely, absolutely. And like I said, playoff hockey is everything. This is why we play the game. Um, and uh, just to get the chance uh, to make the playoffs and then be a part of that. Um, I mean, we're, we're not in right now, but uh, like guaranteed. But uh, just to be a part back in the race with a good team. I mean, I'm just excited, uh, smiling ear to ear. What do you think of the coach? Uh, mm -hmm. Great coach. Uh, we had a little discussion. Uh, we're going to get to know each other a lot better coming up here. What do you, what do you tell you to expect? Do you give you any uh, we haven't really talked too much yet. So, um, you know, just got here. So I got a quick skate in, got to know the guys, uh, talk to see everybody. So we'll see uh, moving forward. How much of a scramble was it uh, last night?
clothes? And uh, I'm not going to lie. I packed pretty heavy for the trip. I knew it was a possibility if Montreal was going to fall out of the race. Uh, we were on the road for a week. So, um, so you took maybe more clothes than normal? Uh, a little bit. Wow. A couple more sweaters. Wow. That's you never know this time of year, so you got to be prepared. I know I, I, I'm in a contract here, so, mm -hmm. uh, you know, just prepare. I was going to ask you about that, just the whole contract year thing. Is that is it just kind of a day-to-day -day thing with you and just kind of let it let it play into the offseason here? And Haven't even thought about it once. Honestly, just day-to-day, -day, um, like I said, just happy for the opportunity here. And uh, all I want to do is play hockey, have fun. So, By all accounts, you were playing well in Buffalo. I mean, was, was that a surprise? I, I guess they, they had a little bit of an excess of uh, we had a few too many defensemen. Uh, I, I really liked it there. Uh, I feel like uh, this year I played for, uh, other than this organization, two Class A organizations that treated me really well, enjoyed my time there, and uh, just continuing the journey. So um, even Buffalo, I got a good opportunity there, played with that Yoki Haru, thought we played well together, then went to Montreal, you know, played two months in front of my family, and now I'm here in St. Louis. So just embracing the opportunity. You could be somewhere else next year, right? Never know. <laughs> Never know. I'm not thinking about that, though. I'm just sure. living in the present.